Thanks for watching this month in PLA's, your monthly recap of Project Labor Agreement news and information. Leading things off this month, like many this time of year, we're heading back to school. The University of Iowa is in the process of building a $78 million biomedical research building on campus. America's building trades tried very hard to get the work under a PLA, but were not successful and the building trades thinks it was because of politics and not sound business policies. Newly elected governor of Iowa, Republican Terry Branstad, like many conservative legislators around the nation, doesn't see PLAs that way. As one of his first acts as governor, he issued an executive order which prohibited the use of PLAs on state-funded construction projects. And word is that the construction force building the research facility at Iowa are all out-of-state contractors and workers. That, not to mention the lesser quality and safety on an open shop job, that is why we continue to educate and get the word out. As America's building trades have said, demonstrated and factually proved, PLAs are nothing more than a job site efficiency tool ensuring on-time, on-budget construction, utilizing the local skilled crafts pros who make up the building trades. And according to the BCTD, to take that option away from federal, state, and local governments is nothing more than short-sighted political pandering to special interests. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security is under construction as well, building a new headquarters in Washington, D.C. When finished, the new facility will be located in Ward 8, one of the hardest hit in terms of unemployment in the district and the nation, at a rate of nearly 28 percent. Before the next point, let's recap what a project labor agreement is. It's a job site efficiency tool ensuring on-time, on-budget construction. It's an agreement which brings all trades together under one standard set of rules, making the GC and the owner's life a lot easier with less headaches. It's something which looks out for local workers, ensuring that on local construction jobs, they're on the job. With that basic understanding, getting back to the Homeland Security Headquarters job in Ward 8, certified payroll data shows that fewer than 14 percent of the total work hours on the site have been performed by D.C. residents, based on data obtained by the BCTD through a request under the Freedom of Information Act. A significant portion of the job is being done without a PLA, while a smaller portion is covered by PLA language. That 14 percent of local workers hired most likely is made up of workers from the building trades under the small PLA. Once again, Ward 8, 28 percent unemployment, and a job which could employ and train people from that neighborhood on a construction job with good middle-class wages and benefits, all for naught. How can the building trades hire those unemployed citizens and put them to work, you ask? Through the core curriculum program for one, where they go into inner cities and small towns, introduce residents to a career in the trades, invite them into the apprenticeship programs so they can learn in the classroom and on the job from industry veterans. A more detailed explanation on the core curriculum program can be found on this website in the video library. Ending things on a bright note, because of a PLA, Phase 1 of the Dulles Rail Extension Project was completed on time and on budget. Monthly progress review meetings consistently prove that fact, as well as the exemplary safety record and low turnover rate of the construction professionals. Approximately 25 percent of the workforce was non-union from open shop subcontractors putting to rest the claim that PLAs eliminate competition and the ability for non-union contractors and workers from gaining access to a PLA job. With the final underlying message being there were no disruptions, no major issues, there was job site harmony putting to rest that claim that union and non-union can't work well together on the same job. Well, that's it. Thanks for the click. Remember to check the BCTD out on their other online sites, Facebook, YouTube, the blog-inspired We Party Patriots, plaswork.org, and as always, on bctd.org. Whether it's on your computer or smartphone, the building trades is always on. See you next month.